What's up manga lovers? Today we are looking at another manga series. This is a fairly short one done by Tatsuya Endo, creator and artist for Spy Family, a hit manga series all across the globe. I've reviewed it, I loved it. There's a movie coming out soon. I guess we're still waiting on the release date of that, but excited for that as well. And now, of course, since Spy Family has been such a crazy success, Viz Media, which is the English translating publication for manga in Japan over here to the US, they are thinking about now translating and releasing some of Endo's previous works including the manga that I am reviewing today, Tista. What is Tista about, you may ask? And why is it only nine chapters and why did it get such poor reviews? <laughs> we'll go over all of that in this review right here. Tomorrow, April 6th, Horizon Quest is coming to Indiegogo. It's a new fantasy comic that I am making with Adam Meisner, a fantasy author. While I'm doing all the art myself, I'm quite nervous, but also very excited. I think that this is a comic most people would enjoy. If you check a link in the description, you'll find the mailing list where you can sign up to get notified immediately when we launch the campaign. On the campaign, there's going to be print copies available to buy, along with a lot of other goodies, a lot of other fun perks that will not be available anywhere else. The comic itself is pretty close to completion, so I won't imagine it'll be very long till you do get your comics. Of course, I'll also be keeping it updated. So Tista is an ordinary young teenage girl who is an orphan, raised by the church, and her little secret is that the church has a little, a little bit of a operation, a vigilante operation in which they pay her, along with other knights, to be assassins and assassinate people who are creating a bit of trouble on the streets, such as drug overlords, gangsters. They only kill bad people, which the manga makes perfectly clear to us. It's also interesting to point out that uh, this manga series takes place in New York City. Yes, we have a manga that actually does not take place in Japan, it's taking place in the United States. Being an American myself, it didn't strike me as particularly odd how they interpreted, like, United States culture per se. Just seemed odd in general, <laughs> the characters. A lot of characters just go from zero to a hundred real quick, and I'll get into that later. Now, by chance, she meets this guy who saves her from getting hit by a car. He's a nice guy, his name is Artie, and she likes him. But of course, her work gives her a bit of a moral dilemma, or at least I think the writer thought it was a moral dilemma. Her newest target for assassination turns out to be Artie's foster father. His drug daddy wants to get his son into also selling drugs now. This, this comes out of nowhere, so naturally Artie is like, what? No, <laughs> not gonna sell drugs. And instead of trying to like charm his son into, you know, selling drugs or trying to manipulate him into selling drugs, instead of doing all that, he takes his picture that he drew of Tista and rips it to shreds and then points a gun at him, shoots him in the hand out of the blue, out of nowhere. He told Artie to start selling drugs. Artie said no, so Artie's foster dad here not a good guy. So where's the moral dilemma? <laughs> Some of you might be asking yourselves. I don't know. As far as I can tell, there was no real moral dilemma with Tista absolutely murdering this guy and saving Artie, which is exactly what she does. And then after this incident happens, she leaves, goes on this pathway to isolating herself from everyone, including, of course, her her new friend and love interest, Artie. He doesn't really hold any malice towards her. He's worried about her because he doesn't know what the heck happened to her. So he goes looking for her. And that's kind of the hook 
This is all what happens in Chapter 1, how you get introduced into the series. Now, both of these characters are fairly bland. There's not a whole lot of charm between either of them, really, which is quite surprising considering how much character there is for the spy family characters, which are iconic. But I will say this, I do really like kind of Christian Catholic themes, so I always kind of have a, a pro bias towards them where, you know, I saw this, I'm like, oh my god, there's a like super Christian organization that's killing people, evil people, in the name of God. I'm into it. You know, when I see Blue Exorcist and they're throwing hand grenades with holy water in them, just sp spraying out, I'm into it. I get into that shit real easily. Something about it just triggers something in my brain. I don't know, maybe it's my Teutonic ancestry way, way back in the day. <laughs> but regardless, I didn't like this one purely because of the execution. Further into the story, they build up so much of the manga series showing us that Tista is only killing bad guys, right? Part of her personality is really satisfied with killing evil people, but another part of her personality really wants to give up the assassination life, wants to settle down and become a teacher. At some point, Endo just decided that like the Christian organization killing these evil people is actually kind of evil themselves. For some reason, they have an issue with already witnessing the assassination of his foster dad, even though it was never an issue before. The only thing that, that really seems suspicious is that he's looking for this girl, but there could be a million reasons why he's looking for some girl. All of a sudden, they decide he needs to die. And that's what creates an actual moral dilemma where Tista has to kill him, which she obviously doesn't do. I don't know how she exactly saves him, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't really make any sense. How this manga ends is probably like the most unsatisfying ending you can imagine. She doesn't catch or kill the bad guy trying to kill Artie. She herself gets shot and her and her friend, who was also part of the Christian organization, are arrested. As far as I can tell, Artie's life is still in danger. Good writing, Endo. Real good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> Artie goes to visit her in jail and it ends with the implication that in a few years or so, she'll get freed from prison and that she'll become a teacher. I don't know in what universe, even in America, I don't know who would ever allow a religious assassin to teach their children. I don't see it happening. Maybe that's just me. The motivations for all the characters, very confused. They try to shoehorn in some extra backstory, like they knew each other when they were kids at the church. I guess that was just like a desperate attempt to make it seem like they had more history together. They had more reason to be in like with each other. It didn't play any part. It didn't play any part in the story. It was useless. Tista was not good. I gotta say, <laughs> for something that had a lot of promise to it, it's shocking how very mediocre it is. It's certainly not of the same quality as Spy Family. And of course, if you've seen Spy Family, you also know that there is an assassin character in that manga. And she's way better. <laughs> Yor is awesome. Tista is so bland. <laughs> Even her design is not as cool as Yor's design. But you know, I'm reading this, I think maybe this is one of those scenarios, which is one of these things that I warn against when it comes to writing. I say, don't start a book when you don't know how it ends. Don't start writing a book if you don't know how it ends. You need the ending. The art is pretty solid. I would even say that I like some of the backgrounds from this short series better than Spy Family. Which, you know, is saying something. Granted, they're, go they're both going for very different aesthetics. I think the backgrounds in this might be very photo tracy heavy, but some of them look really nice. I do think that their art improved overall with Spy Family. And of course their character writing, 
is much, much better. In Spy Family, you understand each of the characters' motivations much, much better. In this one, and the conclusions to the arcs, to the dilemmas, are much better wrapped up. So I see Tista as a stepping stone for Endo to create what was actually his real masterpiece. Yeah, put this back. Put this back. Or not. Or it just won't go back in. With Viz Media releasing Tista in English over here, they're definitely going to be advertising really heavily that this is from Tatsuya Endo. He wrote Spy X Family so you should read it because it's really good but really this was written before it's not really good i've definitely fallen prey to that type of advertising where like they put in big bold letters this manga that you really really like and they treat it as because it's a new release it's a new release over here but it's not a new story so they catch you with that i can't say that i recommend this if you wanted to check it out you know be my guest but just be wary that it doesn't have very good reviews. I agree with the negative reviews. I don't think it's very spectacular. And that's about all I have to say on it. Like the video if you did enjoy this review, of course, comment down below your own thoughts, your own recommendations for me to review in the future. Check out the subscribe star if you'd like to see updates on comics that I'm working on, previews, full page previews, of the comics that I'm working on, such as Horizon Quest, of course. If you wanted to be an early bird on seeing progress on that, Subscribe Star is the place to go. Join the fan club. And if you'd like to see previous comics that I've done, go to burningstarcomics.net. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. See you next time. Bye! Program restart.